All right, it is my extreme pleasure and honor to have on the phone with us today, Trisha from Super Chick. How are you? Yes. I'm so good. How are you guys? Oh, man, we're doing great. I am and have been excited about this interview for a while because, uh, first of all, I got in touch with you guys because you got a big concert coming up this Saturday at uh, Carolyn's. That's awesome. You guys yeah. are like headlining it, too, aren't you? What was that? Sorry. You guys are pretty much headlining the the show, aren't you? Like the last act. You know, I actually don't know the lineup, so you you might be informing me of that. I'm not sure. Whoa! <laughs> you just got a promotion. Way to go! <laughs> I Man, actually, I used to feel nervous now, shouldn't I? Well, I don't mean to <laughs> to cause you any stress, but uh, you know that might be. <laughs> I won't sleep now till then. Well, <laughs> there you go. You you guys are out in Tennessee now, right? Or where are you at? Yeah, most, yeah. Um, all but our guitar player, he still lives in Chicago, but we're in Nashville now. Ah, yeah, so you all guys ever look right there? That's where you do all your albums there? Mm-hmm, Very yeah. Very nice. Yeah, I saw you guys at uh, Coachman Park in Clearwater back in, uh, I think it was 05, you guys opened up for Petra on that Jekyll and Hyde tour that they had. Yes, and, I totally uh, remember that show. And that was my, my, that was my first real super chick experience, and I thought that was uh, pretty cool. And, and I was astonished, because honestly, I, I didn't, I didn't know who you were at that point, but I was like, yeah. I, I was, I was digging the music, but there was one song you did and I'm like, Oh my gosh, I've heard that song. I'm, and I believe it was on secular radio. That song pure. Did, did you guys, oh, really? did you purpose, you? did you know you guys had like secular airplay with that stuff? Well, you know, um, we don't always hear that stuff, but you know, we've had, um, because of our manager he he works a lot in licensing so a lot of our songs have been on tv and in you know shows and then in movies and different things and soundtracks so sometimes you know people hear it maybe and a radio dj might just like it and start playing it you know but um yeah we haven't known of that many with um with pure so that's interesting to hear yeah that was that was way way back then but um you um (laughs) <laughs> I, I thought it was, was interesting too, and I, you seem like you, you could handle this line of questioning. But I, I do have a problem with uh-huh. you guys, <laughs> and you know, I know you don't know me, but I'm like this big, 240 pound, you know, goofy looking dude, and it, it's 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 very damaging to my self esteem and my psyche uh, because of that. Your song, One Girl Revolution. Yeah. Uh, not only. Do you have me? But you also have my little five and a half year old boy rocking around the house singing, "I'm a one girl revolution." <laughs> we tried singing it, like, you know, I'm a one dude revolution. It wasn't quite working for us, but uh, yeah, exactly. Trying to change the words up. Yeah, we get a lot of weird looks, but <laughs> so I blame you know, it on the you. Funny, the funniest story about that song is once we were we were going into Canada for a show, and uh, we didn't have all the paperwork that we thought we thought we had it all but we didn't and and it can be really tough to get into Canada if you have merch you're going to sell and all the instruments and a trailer so anyway this is one of those nights where it ended up being really difficult they completely searched our whole trailer like took all the gear out and everything it was winter they got us all out of our bunks and the bus and like we had to go inside so they're like kind of harassing each one of us like we're criminals a little bit and um, <laughs> you look like a group of terrorists <laughs> yeah i know we look like trouble but dave our guitar player they take him into a separate room oh, no. not even kidding like this is what you have nightmares about this kind of thing <laughs> and they're like okay if you're really in a band called super chick then sing us one of the songs oh no <laughs> and so dave it, it, the joke with Dave is that in 11 years, he doesn't know the words to most of our songs. He just <laughs> plays guitar. So he literally was like, I don't know if I know any of the lyrics, and then they're going to think we're lying. <sighs> and so all he could think of was one of the first songs we ever wrote, which was One Girl Revolution. <laughs> oh, no. So Dave, he kind of, he doesn't, Dave isn't so much a singer, um, but he started just talking like, I wear a disguise. I'm just your average Jane. And he like literally like <laughs> talked out the song. Like he, and they thought it was so ridiculous that they let him go. Oh, it was <laughs> my gosh. Well, at least, you know, yeah. they didn't like keep him overnight or something. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think it was an embarrassing moment for well, Dave. Well, speaking of embarrassing moments, with, with, you know, you having, uh, you got three guys in the band, right? 
Matt, Max, yes. and uh, and Dave. What? Well, how do they refer to them as super themselves as super chicks, or how do they? <laughs> how do well, they? How do they deal with being in a band think, called that? I don't think they call themselves super <laughs> chicks, but they they definitely say that they feel proud to be in a band called Super Chick. Right. They say they're not ashamed, but Matt also. Um, says it's like a step up from like his his job before the band was selling women's clothing. So <laughs> he's like, it's, you know, I feel like, you know, I was cut out for this kind of thing. Like I'm, I'm pretty good, you know, um, <laughs> at selling girls clothing. So maybe I can tell them our music. Very nice. So, yeah, but yeah, they, they get that question a lot of, you know, like, are you, is it embarrassing to be in a band? <laughs> and, you know, they, they obviously, say that they're proud to be in super chick well yeah i guess but, at, the, at the end of the they day they're still... to say that they're the super and we're the chick oh uh, is that how they get away with it yeah, <laughs> you, you, yeah you let that's, them, you let that's do how that? they they work that out <laughs> that's awesome yeah. <laughs> well uh one of the other things i was going to ask you too is you guys have uh, been around since 01 uh five albums now right and uh you know, how, how have you feel that, that you guys have uh, grown or changed or valuable lessons you guys have learned being on the road? I'm sure you've toured with, like, a lot of different bands and, and seen a lot of different things, and uh, just wonder what your thoughts were uh, on that. Well, um, you know, we've definitely grown up on the, on the road. Most, most of us were, like, 19 or 20. Um, Matt was even younger than that. Um, when we started out. So we've sort of, you know, our adult years have all been spent mostly touring. And so it's interesting to think back to, like, um, you know, when I was in high school, I was a pretty, pretty shy kind of, uh, kind of the bookworm girl. And, wow. And then, um, and I, I always sang and I was, you know, I was trained classically um, in opera. And so, I was trained to perform a song and to just stand and sing a song, but to be a performer and to like engage the crowd was a completely different thing. So the first couple of years in the band, I mean, I was just terrible. I was just, I was scared to death, you know, of like this crowd staring at me and, (laughs) and I would, I would freeze up about lyrics because I, you know, as soon as you get nervous, lyrics leave your head. So, um, it was it was definitely I guess a stretching thing for me, and I say to people like I know that I easily could have been one of those girls that went to college, got married, found a job, which I was going to do nursing if I hadn't done this. Nursing was always kind of my plan. Um, I would have been a nurse, and you know, had like two point five kids and, <laughs> and a little White House and there a picket fence, and. Um, and it would have been easy for me to do that because I'm a person that really likes stability and kind of growing up, I'm, I was very much like if I'm organized, then I feel happy. And if I'm, um, and so being on the road is like a new place every day and things change and the schedule is never what you think it will be. And for a few years, it stressed me out and it was really tough for me. And then I learned to be flexible and it's completely changed me, you know, because who I was before couldn't quite handle being on the road, and I think I just had to finally go, if this is where I think God's called me, mm-hmm. I have to learn to love it, and I really have to learn to just see the good in it and and let it stretch me, and, and it really has. I, I can definitely say I think I'm a really easygoing girl now, and I don't think I was at all <laughs> when I was younger. So um, 